oh, we've got to talk about these, actually. Um, I'm actually a fan of these, and I think they've already come out, so it's not that big of a deal. And I think they're they're out available now on the Nike sneakers app if you do want to check them out yourself. But it's these these absolute bad boys, right? These Nike Air Max 86 big bubbles. Um, these look absolutely beautiful. If you know anything about these, the history of them. So essentially, when the Nike Air Max first came out, they were called the 86 or an 87, if I'm not mistaken, of the year that they made. And they initially had this really massive, big bubble on them. And um, over time, because the bubble was so big and whatever it may be, and they didn't really make them properly out of them, I forgot the bubble material, they pop and burst a lot. So people will be sending them back and the quality, they have loads of quality control issues. So over time, Nike got worried about these bursting. So they ended up kind of encapsulating the bubble more. So you didn't really have loads of it exposed. Even now, it still isn't that, you know, big of a bubble. They just basically exposed more of it because this is this always exists in your Nike Maxes, but they just hide it by making the window smaller. But now they've kind of made it a little bit open, but in the actual OG pairs of these from the 80s, the bubble is super, the hole is super big and the bubble kind of protrudes out a little bit. But I still do like the shape of these. I feel like for some reason, um, again, congrats on Nike because they don't do this often, but I feel like they've reshaped and retoured the upper of these flipping Air Maxes. I feel like before the Air Max one shape was really weird and kind of banana-y looking, whereas I feel like now the shape of these is absolutely nearly, I feel like, perfect and kind of looks like what you would get if you went and got a vintage pair because i feel like nike kind of you know did wrong by a lot of air max fans from back in the day by retroing loads of really legendary air max like the air max light which i'll never forgive nike for fucking fucking up um but they do have some ones that hit out of the park like the flipping structure and then they fuck up another one at the nike air stab but i feel like they've done this really well so hopefully in the future we'll see them go back to the drawing board and kind of do right by the air max light and by the nike stab and actually make them you know to spec because i feel like these big bubble ones look sexy and look absolutely incredible and i can't wait to see these other colorways we've got this white and red colorway already now but imagine when they come out in a blue imagine when they come out with a green imagine when they come out with a black imagine when pata gets a hold of these Oof. There's so many possibilities on the horizon with these Atmos. If they end up doing collaboration with these big bubble Air Maxes, it's going to be fantastic. So loads of stuff on the horizon coming forward with these lovely mesh tongue. Look at that nice suede on the mud guard. Looks absolutely incredible. These look really, really flipping nice. And they're still available now, actually. Weirdly enough, again, two white people being sheep. No one's flipping jumping on these because everyone wants to flipping Clint. Um, so all the Cortez, the Cortez flipping Air Max 95s. But these are available right now still in, I think, a majority of a size run. And they've even got this nice weathered um, age flipping outsole as well, which I flipping like. Sorry, um, box, which I think is also amazing. I really do like these, man. Yeah, big up, Richie. As we definitely need that story when you fight at the club in your Balenciaga ballerina flats <laughs> like you did in your loafers limo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly we got richie yeah for sure you're definitely gonna get that story someone's definitely gonna try it with me when i get the Balenciaga flat someone's gonna try it and think that i'm a guy that should be messed with and then i'm gonna have to get down and show them you know show them my flipping my elbow show them show them my tony ferguson elbows show them what that group on muay thai classes taught me right i'm gonna have to show them what that Muay Thai group on shit talk. <laughs> oh, big up everyone that went to group on classes doing Muay Thai or self-defense for a couple of months and came out of it thinking that they were fucking Jackie Chan, myself included, thinking of fucking John Jones, right? Thinking of fucking, you know, George St. Pierre. That was me doing those fucking classes, teak kicks and what, you know, kind of protecting yourself, checking kicks and shit. Crazy, but yeah. Um, Air Max Big Bubbles look absolutely incredible. Love them. They're out now. Um, not really much more to say about them. They look fucking beautiful. Look absolutely buttery and amazing. The shape is great. The ex exposed bubble is awesome. And I hope this means that going forward, we'll see more of this big, gigantic XXL bubble on more Air Max going forward because now they have the technology and the expertise and the experience to basically make sure these don't pop or burst anymore going forward. But I love these, I love these, I love these. Um, and I can't wait to see more of this makeup of this kind of done sometime in the future and the colorways that they have flipping going on. I really, really can't wait, man. I really, really can't wait, man.